In this video, I'm going to try to explain to you what I've learned about cumulative delta voltage on the Dr. Prius app and what I think it means. And it is not what the maker of the Dr. Prius app said that it means. So I don't know if I misunderstood what he said or if he said something and meant something else. But I'm just going to tell you what I've, know, I've experienced with this app and the cumulative delta voltage on this particular pack. And it seems pretty obvious on this pack that block number two has the highest cumulative delta voltage, not only while I'm sitting here idling, but when going down the road and pulling hills, descending hills, no matter what conditions there are, in this particular pack, uh, the highest delta voltage is consistently number two. But consistently, block number two also, as you can see it's doing here, moves up and down in voltage way less than any of the others. That leads me to believe that the cumulative delta voltage is a comparison of how much this block moves in voltage compared to how much the other blocks move or change in voltage but the way the Dr. Prius app creator explained it led me to believe that he was he was saying that this delta cumulative voltage is a measurement of how much the voltage moves up and down in that block in other words a comparison of how high a voltage and how low a voltage it has in the individual block not compared to the other blocks. Now that's not word for word what he said, I'm paraphrasing. And maybe it's not what he meant. Maybe what he said and what he meant were two different things. Maybe he could have explained it better. But it's the only vo video on YouTube or anywhere else that I could find that explains anything about del cumulative delta voltage. And so it's the only thing I have to go by other than my own experience of watching Dr. Prius app on these different packs. And this pack just happens to have the most glaringly obvious block number two with consistently the highest delta voltage while it consistently has the least movement in voltage on that same block. The Prius app. Today we are introducing the brand new feature available on the Dr. Prius app Android version. This is called the Accumulated Delta Voltage. First of all, this is not something new that I invented. This is a request from the many repair shops. They do the diagnostic on hybrid vehicle every day. So they used to use the doctor, sorry, the torque app to help them find out the accumulated delta voltage. And now they work with me and make it happen on the Dr. Priest app. So here we go. Let's dive into why exactly the uh, accumulated delta voltage is and how it's going to benefit you. Um, so basically, accumulating number is the number that accumulated over time between the up and down of one particular blade. For example, when you break the car, the, the battery will be charged, right? It's regenerating charging. So the voltage voltage will spike and when you accelerate it's going to use the battery power therefore you will see the voltage dip so the difference between the spike and the dip is called the delta that delta will be recorded and accumulating into the system for example if blade number one has a bigger delta mean it's weaker because it has more variation compared to others Right? That means it's weaker, it's uh, subject to change and has a bigger impact by every single charging and discharging. So the bigger the number of the delta voltage or the accumulated delta voltage means that blade is weaker. Okay, That's how most of the repair shop find out which blade need to be replaced. And you can see the others move up and down in voltage a lot, especially when driving around, especially uh, number six through number nine, they move up and down a lot. And every once in a while, their cumulative delta voltage will spike up a little bit, but 
never as much as number two and never nearly as as often as number two so it just looks glaringly obvious to me that that this is a comparison of how much this voltage moves in this block compared to the other blocks your thoughts in the comments below um, I'm trying to gather a as much information as possible here for all of us to benefit from so any information you have you can put in the comments that could benefit others please do in the meantime if you're interested i'll put a link to my playlist on hybrid battery repairs and i'll put a link to my playlist on hybrid hydration experiments or hybrid rehydration experiments Thank you for watching. I'm Victor Sane, and this is Tigger the Shop Cat, trying to build a library of knowledge to leave behind. If you want to help, please put comments below or visit thesaneauto.com. The subscribe button is right there, and then you hit the bell, and it'll appear down here, and you hit all. To see links in the description of the video, Look below the video, you'll see more, and then the description pops up. Make the description go away after you've scrolled through and found the links that you want. DX, to hit like. This site contains affiliate links for which I may be compensated.